Hello. Welcome. Welcome back to another video. This is a new video. I'm doing this because if I don't, then I will forget about the intro. So this is a new video. I have to make a stable. And I was kind of thinking of making a big old barn. Maybe I could make a red barn or a yellow barn. I think yellow would be really cool. Or even a white barn because you don't see a lot of white. I still have yet to enchant and do any enchanting. You see I've, I've gained some levels. This has not been expanded upon because I don't have any cows. That is another reason why I need to make a barn is because I need cows and I need sheep. So those are my two things that I really need. But for me to have both of those, I need a good supply of wheat and a farm down this pathway, which I still have to work on. I will probably make it dark oak or spruce. We have this, this little opening to a cave that was already here. Terraformed it just a little bit. Excavated and I got a tutorial off of YouTube from around two years ago. I can link the tutorial. It's pretty basic. I mean, everybody I think at least once has built this before this type of farm. So of course, I think in the previous clip you saw the barn. It's still the exact same from the previous clip. This has gone untouched for the most part. But I think this is one of the cutest pathways I've ever made. I have to be honest. I was I, It took me a long time to figure out the block palette because paths are so difficult to make when you have nothing but ugly blocks available to you to fit in with this, this, this bane of my existence, this terracotta. Oh, I hate this so much. And over here is the coop. I can't show everything. There's also path, pa 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 pavement, paving, pathing, pa pathing. There's, I don't know. Hello everyone, I'm back. I have filmed this almost three times. I'm having recording issues and computer issues, so I apologize if anything's a little weird or off. I have gone through the speech over and over again, and I am so done with doing it. But you have seen the barn before, it was in the previous clip, I'm sure of it. This path is new, this cactus is new. I put it here if it wasn't obvious. The entire barn is the same for the most part. I still don't have fences out here. Um, a little custom fence, same one as those, but I'll, I'll be working on that next episode for sure. And along this path is super cute. Lots more cows in this pen. They're swimming, they're enjoying a nice warm evening, right? Yeah. Okay, but this path, I'm very proud of this path. I think it adds a lot of character to the place, I really do. But I think the thing that adds the most character, the most pizzazz, is undoubtedly this. And now I spent a, a long time building this. I first built it in um, a creative world where I do a lot of my little build testing and my block palettes and kind of see what I can obtain easily and, and see what I can put together. And I, I was kind of researching, mostly on Pinterest, so it may not be completely historically accurate. I hope you can forgive me. But I was trying to see like Western, old Western buildings. You know, I, I feel like barns and this, it's really simple to get because barns, they, they kind of say the same. There isn't that much special to them. They're things that you can keep for a long time, I'm sure. Well, I wouldn't really know because I've never owned a barn. So I thought I would add a little bit more pizzazz to it by adding this kind of... I think I did really well in the blocks here. I think that they really go with one another. I was very torn on what I wanted to build at first because the western homes and buildings that I had seen online and at least concept pictures of as well were all just made of wood. That's all that they were made of. Wood. It was just the same boring old color of wood and it makes sense. You don't have a lot of materials out there. You're not going to fancy it up like you would in a game but that's boring. Nobody wants that. So I'm like, I have terracotta. 
I'm gonna pay a little nod to my old house. I'm gonna make it out of red terracotta, basically the same color palette as before, except a couple blocks have been added, like these and these, and um, I changed the windows. I like making my windows the other way, but this one just fit a lot better, it looked a lot nicer. And we have some brown terracotta right there. And I, I honestly think that this looks really cute. This, this is the only thing in here. Um, it's completely empty in here. I haven't had time to decorate and to kind of make it look very pretty. And I'm running out of materials, especially when it comes to wood. And I'm going to have to build that fence over there. So I'll take another mining trip to gather more materials and just be more set to do more. And then I'll have to seriously, and I mean that seriously, get work, working on the enchantment room over there, which I haven't even started at all. I don't even have an enchantment table. I don't have a book. I've been breeding the cows and the sheep as much as I can, but I have been doing other stuff in the meantime, stuff that I could kind of put more attention and focus on while I was waiting. And this is the bedroom. Super simple. I really like how this looks. I think it looks super cute. Um, I know this is not how they look in more updated versions of the game, which makes me a little sad because I think this is really cute. I still think it's adorable. We have this. I wanted to give the, the stairs some texture. I, I don't know if it worked out the way I planned it, but this, which sadly it does look a little bit weird from this angle, is a basement. It is a storage room basement, which I just made, and because I'm so used to playing updated versions of the game, I forgot you cannot place chests next to each other, so this is what we're going to have to go with. Yep, it looks very weird, and it, it's definitely not optimized. And here is a better look at my current place. See, the animals are not loaded, and they're not rendered at this distance. That is my house. I know the roof looks very weird. You're not supposed to be able to see the top of the roof, so I'm not going to worry about it. My barn, my little stables, and one- I just- I love the pathing. I love what I did with the pathing. I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. Just amazing. That's really the only things that I had planned for the episode. I feel like it's going to seem very small and not very big at all, but I did a lot. I have been working very hard these last couple of days to put all of my effort and my work into um, the barn and the house and the material gathering and I'm doing all of this with iron tools this entire time. I have, I have probably used more than 50 tools the oh i can look at my statistics can i okay let's see <gasps> look at that i have crafted 76 76 iron pickaxes so that shows you a little bit of uh, how many picks i've been using and how inefficient this all all of this has been and I'm, I'm just glad I got this, but I am very ready to move on and like upgrade my stuff. I'm so tired of using all of these very beginner tools for not very much beginner things. But for the time being, I think it's good to focus my efforts on finishing up that fence, which shouldn't take very long, and finish the enchanting area and start enchanting and all of that. I think once I'm done enchanting, I will open my stuff up to more mobs. Then from there, I'll figure out what I want to do. If I want to go and get myself a beacon or whatever. You'll see all that simplified in the next upcoming episodes. But in the meantime, I'm going to be grinding my ass off.